eBay and AliExpress are great places to get cheap components if you don't mind waiting a few weeks for them to arrive. However, a lot of sellers will either knowingly or unknowingly try and rip you off, so here are a few things I've learned. Now just as a note, I wouldn't recommend buying components from either of these sites for anything except low power personal projects and prototypes. Passive components are usually decent. You can buy resistor, capacitor, conductor kits for next to nothing, and they'll give you tens of values and hundreds of components which can be extremely useful for prototyping. LEDs are often decent. The colour, brightness and efficiency aren't always that great, but for the price you can buy enough to last you a lifetime for only a few bucks, and often they're indistinguishable from what you get from a well-known distributor. You can pick up 10 triple five timers for about 30 cents delivered. I've got no idea how they managed to ship something for that, let alone buy the parts and turn a profit. Couldn't even send something next door for that much, but they appear to work fine. Probably not that accurate, but fine for prototyping and personal projects. Logic I see such as shift registers and decoders have all worked fine in my experience. I've been unable to thoroughly test off amps, but I'd suspect they're probably not what they're advertised as, but they're likely to work fine in most situations. More complex ICs such as microcontrollers are almost definitely not fake, however they might have failed testing in some obscure way, but I haven't found any noticeable problems yet. Avoid anything in a TO220 package like the plague. Regulators rated for amps will only be able to supply a few milliamps and get extremely hot while doing that. MOSFETs won't be capable of the voltage or current rating specified and will often have a vastly different threshold voltage. Breaking them open will most likely reveal a much smaller die than a genuine one would have had. Another way to tell that they are fake is they are often made of aluminium instead of copper and the labels are really poorly printed. Arduinos and other microcontroller boards have worked fine when I've tested them. EEPROM and microcontroller programmers also work fine but I'd suggest going for a genuine one just to save on the pain of trying to debug a problem with the programmer. Breadboards aren't anywhere near as good as the ones you can buy elsewhere but for about a dollar each they can be useful to have a couple. Jumper and hookup cables are often fairly poor quality, but I've had decent luck with ones that come as a ribbon cable. They're also a lot neater in most situations. Vero and Matrix prototype board smells like it could give you cancer, and it probably will, but if you don't mind an early death, you can pick up a pack of 10 for a couple of bucks, and can be extremely useful for quick prototype boards. You can find project boxes for about a buck each, and they're fairly solid and useful to have around for making professional looking projects. Both eBay and AliExpress have decent dispute systems, so if you end up with a fake or broken part or one that hasn't arrived, you can often get your money back fairly easily. Most sellers don't seem to know much about electronics, so I doubt they're knowingly selling you bad components. Most likely they're just reselling whatever's cheap at the market that week, and most of the time they won't even try and fight your dispute. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to be notified about more videos like this, it'd really help me out a lot.